posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey Virgos, it's Purple Haze and I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. Here to give you guys a general reading. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video because it helps this channel grow. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys, Virgos. Make sure you guys also hit that notification bell. Okay, now, let's do a quick prayer. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, benevolent ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do. Every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Virgos listening to this reading. Okay. Shuffle it up one more time. I did already, but I'm going to do it another time for y'all. Okay. Making sure everything good. Okay, Virgos. Let's see what's up. And Happy New Year. We are in 2022. So if y'all have any particular goals, you know what's that how's that going okay have you started already or are you waiting till next monday like what okay so we have the ten of swords okay in reverse i mean i'm sorry not the ten of swords the nine of swords in reverse okay mm, what's happening you have the ten of cups in reverse and then we have the eight of pentacles in reverse so basically virgo it seems as if you're in a situation where whatever this person had done to you or whatever happened you can't get it off of your brain it's like you you often stay up at night thinking about it it's something that you kind of like struggle with ignoring okay and then you have the ten of cups in reverse like this is someone the reason why you're up at night having all these thoughts because someone who you deeply cared about i mean like you probably saw a future with or you just really cared about this person okay um it's like this person had really disappointed you to the point where it's like you can't even believe what happened and it's like you kind of replay it over and over again um late at night it's like you have insomnia sometimes because of it that's part of it okay and then like i said you have the ace of pentacles here in reverse um there's someone here who's lost their muse they're not as motivated as they used to be um may be lazy for the moment i don't know if this is you virgo but maybe you you are experiencing some type of heartbreak where it's getting to the point where you're just at a standstill, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if you get the hangman. Okay, so you have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, as I was saying, you have the Four of Wands, and then you have the Page of Cups here in reverse. Um, The root of this particular issue was the fact that it was immaturity. That was immaturity. That's, that's what kind of kicked off where you're at now with this per with this particular person their immaturity had also caused a lot of issues that like i said betrayal chaos in your life to the point where you can't even believe it um and i said the four of wands okay so it's like every time you have high hopes for this person they prove to you that it's the same thing it's the same like they haven't changed you feel like this person had not changed okay queen of cups here in reverse oh, five of swords you've grown cold toward this person you are no longer quick to open that door for them I, I wouldn't be surprised if this person popped up or showed up and got rejected by you um but yeah there was like this rejection someone reached out the other person was cold to them and it's like due to that there's this sadness here the five of swords there's this sadness due to oh it's just a, it has a lot to do with disappointment it has a lot to do with not only is it just heartbreak but you it's like some of you spazzed it was like i can't believe you did this you let it go as far as how you felt um this is probably the most you expressed how you felt to this person because you felt like you needed to and you had to and then you had the ten of wands here in reverse because you felt like you are not about to have a future with this person just for them to keep letting you down over and over again. Like, they keep letting you down. Okay. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. We have the Justice card. Okay. So, whether you guys like it or not, when it comes to this particular outcome, justice was served. This needed to happen. This, this had a lot to do with karma. Like, someone got their karma. Okay. 
the um king of swords here in reverse okay so someone got their karma and it's like due to that it's like they were making progress at first and then this particular situation brought them back to square one okay like they were it's like they they learned this particular it could be you too virgo this is a situation where it happened more than once more than once yet this particular person kept repeating the same mistake and the other person repeatedly kept dealing with it it was like a cycle okay it was like a cycle okay let's move on to the energy oracle cards to tap into like what led you here what got you to this space virgos like what happened that as far as you emotionally what happened that brought you here that made you kind of react to some of the ways some of the situations what caused you to react that way okay oh what was that okay we have financial constraint in reverse okay mm, door to spirit it looks as if someone was like it's like when it comes to you virgo you were in this emotional state where you felt like you know you needed to be more careful with your money and be more open to spirituality or be more closer to god whatever belief that you had it's like you feel like you needed to do that due to this particular situation it didn't take this particular situation but it was like a breaking point okay and then we have the garden and the gate you're comfortable here too you're comfortable with that decision to just focus on um being careful with your money you have been careful with your money too but more so focusing on spending it for you and not everyone else so you're ready to you're willing and ready to spend and spoil yourself because you feel like you need to focus on yourself and like i said some of you are getting closer when it comes to spirituality and when it comes to god or both okay now you are comfortable where you're at like i said before and then you have attachment here so and then you have door to value and doors of personal healing and happiness so it looks as if now you're attached to and more focused on the money the bag it's like some of you are telling yourselves you know what my love life may not be going too well but when it comes to this money i'm going to focus on that that's like your guaranteed success the other thing wasn't guaranteed but you feel like this is and then doors of personal healing and happiness no more feeling drained it's like you have this weight off your back none of that like you are not you are not in a space where you feel like everything was taken from you and you don't have anything left for you, okay? And then we have indecision, okay? So you've made a decision to do what? What did you? What are you deciding to do? Storm warning, adjacent possibilities, okay, in reverse. So it seems as if you decided to go against a particular opportunity. Maybe this person wanted to... Maybe they presented you with the option to start over again and you decided to not do it and that could have erupted some type of confrontation. It could have pissed you off and you was like, I'm not doing that. But it was more so, it was more than you saying, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's like you had a few more words for this person, okay? A lot of just, just, you letting all the emotions out, okay? Ooh, don't you fall. Now, let's move on to the universal love card, okay? to get the final messages of the read then we'll well you don't really care but <laughs> we'll move on to the next sign but yeah what else is happening okay we have trilogy of light in reverse we have the dream card in reverse and then we have the moon tree in reverse i feel like i gotta sneeze y'all okay Whew. so now we're tapping into um Tissue particles and shit. So now <laughs> you're basically what's happening to another situation, another story here, because some of you have been feeling uninspired. There was an idea that you had. So it, it could be a part of like your dreams or something you always wanted to do, but now you're deciding not to do it. You're unsure whether or not if you should do it because you're afraid of the outcome. You're not clear what it's going to bring you. It's like, it's a typical Virgo. If you don't know the outcome of the situation, you're like, I don't know if I should do this because you don't want to risk making the wrong decision. Like, that's where the overthinking come in because you're like, I had this idea. I was confident about it at first, but now I'm kind of second guessing it. It could have a lot to do with the environment right now. Like people are making a lot of changes due to what's going on right now. So you had an idea but now you're not quite sure if it's if it's gonna work um because you're not sure how the outcome would be but let me give you um my personal advice because 
There's nothing worse than having an idea and then not believing in yourself just to watch somebody else have that same idea and be successful. So if you're you sure you don't want to do it and somebody else does it, you can't feel no type of way because you decided not to do it. So the question is, will you be okay if your idea was to succeed when someone else thought of it two, three years from now? And you'll be looking at it like, I have this same idea. That could have been that could have been me. Do you want to feel like that? Just think about it. But that's what I have for you guys, Virgos. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.